Hey everyone, what's up? I am Reaper Digital, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add sound effects to Discord and your stream, and even video game chats for free using Voice Mod. And the way we're going to do that is we go to voicemod.net, hit download Voice Mod for free. It's going to ask you to sign up using either Discord, Twitch, or Google. Um, I just used my uh, email address, sent me a magic code, and I typed it in um, into the program, and it accepted my sign in. Once you do that, you will be taken to the initial setup screen of Voice Mod. It won't look exactly like this, but it'll be damn near the same. It's asking you what your input should be and what your output should be. Um, set your input to be mic in, whatever you're using for your mic, uh, so that your mic can hear you. And then the output should be um, for he like your headphones for now. But for me, it's Wavelink sound effects because I'm also using an Elgato Wave 3 mic and with that comes the Wavelink software and um, I have a sound effects voice channel in it right now um, I muted the stream audio in it so the stream can't hear it but I can hear it um, because this isn't exactly the way we want to control the sound effect um, this is just so we can hear it um, um, yeah also here's my um, Elgato Wave 3 mic channel as well so this is how loud I can hear it and this is how loud the stream and stuff can hear me and other people um, I muted both the icons so um, I can't hear myself and then the stream can't hear me using this method um, the reason why is because when we download voice mod um, bring it over here for you when we download voice mod uh, it actually creates a virtual mic so basically a different input for a mic Instead of mic in, it'll be virtual voice mod audio device. And that's exactly what we put in our Discord for Discord to be able to hear us. Instead of using mic in, we go to the settings, we go to voice and video, and we tell it to be microphone voice mod virtual audio device instead of my mic in. Because in that way, everything that I do inside of voice mod is going to change and it'll hear it that way. So my friends in Discord will be able to hear me with my clean voice. If I switch to a different voice, they'll be able to hear me just like you guys can. Um, I'll show you how to do it in the streaming software as well. Um, but yeah, I'll also be showing you how to add these to your Stream Deck icon uh, buttons in just a little bit. But um, so now that we have Discord with our microphone voice mod virtual audio device, I also have the output device to be voice chat, and for me that's because um, I have a voice chat channel here inside my Wavelink audio software, and I can turn down how loud the stream hears my friends, and I can turn up and down how, uh, how loud they are for me. Um, and I have both of these icons unmuted so that the stream can hear it, and so that I can hear them as well. Um, and that's how you would mute your friends if you didn't want to have them in the stream. But, um, yeah. So, the rest that I have to tell you for Discord is under voice and video. You are going to scroll down just a little bit here. You're going to turn off noise suppression. You're going to turn off echo cancellation, noise reduction. You're also going to turn off automatic gain control. Um, Attentuation should be all the way down. Turn off when I speak and when others speak. And yes, so that's everything that you're going to want to turn off because the reason why is so that your sound effects come in loud and that they can actually hear it. Um, and you can set up the uh, uh, input sensitivity. You got to turn that off as well. I almost forgot. And um, you mess around with the sensitivities until you get to where you want it to be. For me, it's minus 55 decibels. That seems to work pretty good, but you'll actually be able to um, add in different sound effects and stuff so that the stream can hear it and so Discord can hear it, but this is so how loud it is going to be, right? <laughs> so I press the button and it plays whatever sound effect I have tied to my stream deck. So that is for Discord. We got Discord out of the way. And I almost forgot to show you guys that what you need to do as well, an essential thing, is go down here onto your desktop uh, sound icon and right-click it, and then left-click Open Volume Mixer. And what you're going to want to do is set your default input device to be that microphone voice mod virtual audio device. 
And that's so that uh, by default, um, everything uses your default input device. And that way your voice mod, uh, your voice will come through to your stream, your voice will come through your Discord, your video games or your voice chats. Uh, by default, it will use this. And then my output device is set up to be my Wavelink system. And for me, that's just my personal preference because I set it up in my Wavelink software. Uh, so everything, if I'm watching a video on YouTube to something elsewhere, not in a video game or on Discord, it will go through my system audio and I turn it down or up or however loud I want it to be. So yeah, definitely make sure that you set up your input device to be by default the voice mod virtual audio device. Now I want to show you guys what's up with the streaming software, whether it be OBS, Streamlabs OBS, OBS 64 or whatever. Um, I haven't used XSplit or any of that stuff, so but it, it'll be virtually the same thing. Um, uh, let's see, all this information, can't, can't forget all of it, right? Gotta try to get you everything. Um, so you're gonna hit settings, and you're gonna go over here to audio, and you're gonna want microphone, uh, click on mic auxiliary device one, set it to be microphone voice mod virtual audio device, and that is so you can hear my voice, you can hear my sound effects, if I play the, the beep sound where I can cuss, um, that's so you can hear everything. You leave the volume all the way up. And in voice mod, when you're playing the sound effects, um, if you're doing the voices, you can turn down the voice volume. Um, if you're under soundboard, this is where your sound effects would be. You can turn down the sound. So if I play Hank Hill, it automatically pops up Hank Hill by default, which is nice to edit uh, the sound. So if I, it's too loud, I turn it down. If it's not loud enough, I turn it up. That kind of thing. Um, let's see. Um, here we go. I'll press a different sound effect and I'll show you that it pops up automatically. It's just like that. So that way we can edit it quickly. But back into this, uh, OBS. <laughs> um, yeah. So you go to audio and you make sure that mic auxiliary devices, microphone, voice mod, virtual audio device. And then you're going to want Wavelink Stream, Elgato Wave 3, for your audio uh, mic auxiliary device too. And the reason why is because if we just had the voice mod virtual audio device, you'd only be able to hear what I'm saying and my sound effects. You wouldn't actually be able to hear my, uh, my game or my voice chat, which would be Discord, my music, my system. Because in Discord, real quick, I know I'm popping in and out here. In Discord, I have it set as the output device to be Wavelink voice chat, which is this guy right here. And this is so you guys can hear my friends speaking. And so if we didn't have Wavelink stream down here in OBS, you guys wouldn't hear any of that. And when I pop up a game and the game's playing, I go down here, right click, hit open volume mixer, pop this open, and it'll show whatever game sitting here, right? Um, let's say it's Discord for now. Let's say it's a video game. I click on it, and then the output device would be Instead of voice chat, if it was a game, I'd click uh, Wavelink Game, and that would change it to this voice channel. So now I get to control how how loud I hear it on the left, and how loud you guys hear it on the right. I can mute it if I want to or not. This is with my mixer software for the Wavelink. Um, yeah. So make sure you do all that. Make sure you turn off all the settings in Discord. Oops. Get out of there. Make sure you have the settings. Uh, turned off like mine. This guy turned off. And let's see. Noise suppression, echo cancellation, noise reduction, automatic gain control, um, attenuation all the way down. When I speak, when others speak, all that. That's how you get Discord set up. And then that is also how you get the stream set up. Um, and now I'm going to show you guys how to add uh, the Stream Deck icons for. Um, the sound effects. So basically, I have my first page on my Stream Deck to be whatever pages I want, right, for my scenes in my streaming setup. So right now you guys can't see that because I'm in the wrong setup. I'm, I'm, I'm in my recording setup. But I have a Stream 1080p setup. I don't want to switch that right now because it'll mess up my recording. But um, uh, yeah, so I press these guys and it changed different scenes. I can mute my audio. Uh, I can press a button that pops open Twitch website and, 
OBS automatically and stuff like that. Just so I click that button and I'm ready to stream. Um, but yeah, and then I do other stuff in Twitch here that I can do. Um, also, uh, different uh, chat commands that I can do here uh, that'll automatically post into my uh, Twitch chat if I press the button. But what we're here for is the voice changer and the sound effects. So let me get voice mod over here. There we go. Okay, so basically for voice box, this is for voice changer and stuff. Um, the top left button here is um, voice changer on and off. It's the same button. So if I press it right now, it'll turn off my voice changer. I, I just have that on or off, like, or, you know, set up to where I can turn it on or off just by hitting the button over and over again because I leave my voice on clean by default right now it is. But if I press another button, it'll switch it to that. Or I have it set up on my stream deck properly. Um, but yeah, if I wanted to be quick about it, I could just turn off the voice changer and now my voice is regular. And so the last thing I wanted to show you guys was how to add sound effects to your stream deck icons. So in order to add all the icons for your sound effects by simply pressing a button, you can do the sensor beep like that, or you can just do a regular uh, sound effect that you uploaded yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, so in your Stream Deck icon, uh, you can have as many pages as you want. Um, I have seven right now. The last four are all sound effects, and each page has this stop icon. And what that is, is it will stop all sound effects um, and soundboard uh, sound effects if I press that button. So you literally just drag in and drop stop all sound effects um, or stop all soundboard sounds. And that's what that is. And then you can um, left click it and go down here and you can add a icon to it from the Elgato deck, uh, stream deck icon library um, that comes with it. Or you can click the arrow and you can do it from your files whatever you want, and I have my own over here that I've made myself. Um, but yeah. So definitely have this stop all soundboard icon on each page uh, where you have your sound effects because that'll make it to where if you need to stop it uh, quickly, then you can. Um, in order to get the sensor beep, all you got to do is drag in and drop instant sensor beep, and that's what that is by default. That's the icon. And you can press that button, and it works right away. Um, in order to add sound effects, though, you just drag in soundboard here, and that's the default icon uh, for the soundboard uh, sound effect icon. But it'll say profile and sound, and profile is basically categories. So my soundboard or cartoon, um, if you uploaded your own sounds, then you'd want to go to my soundboard, and then that way you can pick from the sound effects that you uploaded. Um, I will go to voice mod and show you where that's at. So you go to voice mod, soundboard, and this is what it's choosing from. Here's my soundboard. These are all the icons or the sound effects that I've uploaded myself. You can go right here to this plus icon, and that's how you upload the file from your computer. Um, you can also go to uh, the Tuna Sound Library. It's their own website from uh, Stream Deck that they recommend you going to. And this is where I got all my sound effects. Um, you can type in whatever and you can get them for free and you download them. And then once they're in your download folder, you come over here to voice mod, go to the plus icon, go to downloads, and you just type, uh, double click it and it'll upload it right there for you to pick out whichever sound icon you want to use or sound effect, sorry. Um, but yeah, so that's why um, in the stream deck, that's why you want to pick the profile because it's easier to pick which sound you want makes it easier if you want cartoon and you're selecting from the cartoon category stuff like that um, yeah there's several other icons uh, buttons that you can do random voice you know stuff like that mute for me on and off background effects on and off it's up to you guys what you want to do here but the top ones that I use are voice changer this is the one that changes to certain voices so that's these buttons right here um, that will change my voice to certain voices and uh, voice changer on and off, that's this guy up here at the top left. I recommend that one. So that way you can just turn it off quickly if you want to. Um, I just have clean voice right here, regular voice as well. So I leave my vo um, voice changer on, but then I just switch to clean. That way it's like the same thing as just turning it off. 
um, let's see. Um, the other one is instant sensor beep. That's for the sound effects. That one's pretty cool. And then there's the soundboard and the stop all soundboard sounds for sure. You definitely want to use that and have one on each page. But yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys. I'll try to answer the comments to the best of my ability as quickly as I can. Um, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.